Running the Windows 10 technical preview and suddenly having problems with your 3D printer? Stay tuned. Hey guys, Tim here for The Hot End. We're your source for 3D printing. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there and we can make sure that you're gonna get all the content we do in the future. It really does mean a lot to us that you subscribe and check out our videos that come out at least once a week, but more likely several times a week. And you're gonna get content like this, hard hitting. Well, okay, it's actually just my 3D printer started stuttering. I took a technical update or an update to the technical preview about February 20, 22nd, 2015. And all of a sudden my 3D printer started doing this weird stuttering behavior when I was about 15 minutes into a print. I thought it was the you know motors overheating or the Arduino board or any number of things. Finally, after you know three or four days of trying to figure out if it was actually the printer, uh, I just went ahead and rolled my machine back to Windows 8.1 because I wanted to keep you know as many variables the same as I could. Switch back the OS and sure enough, it started printing fine again. So it looks like the Current technical preview must have I direct the the solid doodle. I have to direct connect the board, and it looks like you know there must be some USB problem or something that's interfering with the Arduino somehow. I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, as you guys know, you know full declaration. I do work for Microsoft, but as of filming this video, I have not talked to anybody internally, so I don't actually know what's wrong. I just know that rolling back to Windows 8.1 fixed the issue for me. If you have, you know, Windows 7 machine around, anything, you know, Windows 8, uh, Raspberry Pi, a Linux machine, go ahead and connect that to your printer and it'll fix the problem until the technical preview is fixed. And then we can all go back to running 3D printers on the technical preview. It is really important, guys. We want 3D printers to work well on Win 10. So it is important that, you know, we're kind of beta testing and, and ad hoc self-testing there just to make sure when Win 10 comes out, the 3D printers run the best that they possibly can. Also, if you have a printer that has an SD card and you don't directly connect via a USB cable, that seems to be completely fine. This bug doesn't seem to affect 3D slicing. Uh, it doesn't seem to affect Octoprint. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're transmitting to like a print server like Raspberry Pi, um, an OctoPi server, all of that seems to be totally fine. It seems to just be direct connect USB 3D printers, which unfortunately my solid doodle is. So this is Tim for the hot end. We'll see you guys next time.